Okay, in this video, I want to discuss the difference between primary and secondary sources. Now, um, we're going to approach this primarily as texts, but, you know, this could be movies, these could be cars, these could be houses, these could be uh, American cities. Uh, I have, what, what I'm saying here is I have a bunch of time covers here, right? Now, these are the actual things. If I were researching popular magazine design, all right? Okay, so that's my topic. The, the design of a magazine addressed to the general public. And I picked a couple. I picked Time, I picked Life, I picked, uh, you know, just a couple. To go and actually look at the covers, as I'm doing now, would be to look at that primary source. Because that's the topic that I'm, I'm researching. So, you know, kind of technically a primary source kind of refers to text or books that you are examining as the object of as the object of your research. Sorry about that. Um, but a primary source could be really anything you go to to examine its, it as an object of research. So if I were researching uh, retirement habits of the middle class and I were to go to actual people and say, look, are you middle class? Do you have a retirement strategy? What is it? Those would be my primary sources. Okay. So, but here, if I'm looking at uh, the popular magazine design as a topic of research and I'm looking at the actual magazines to see how they're designed I'm dealing with primary sources if I then go and you know in Google Scholar okay I type in design of popular magazines and I find web sources okay uh, like like uh, you know books or journals that are about the design of the popular magazine then I'm looking at work that I'm I'm eventually trying to produce. I'm, I I might want my work to look like this because I'm writing about those those things too. So this is secondary source work because you know it's about popular magazines, but they also had to go look at the magazines themselves to write this thing. Um, so this is a this is one removed from the actual thing examined. This is research about that topic. So this would be secondary source work on the topic. The design of a popular magazine, the, the design itself would be your primary source work. Okay. So what if I were to do slogans? So I go and I, I, I say, well, you know, one of the best places to find slogans are t-shirts. So I'm just going to look at a ton of t-shirts to see if I can learn something about slogans. You know what I'm doing? I'm looking at primary sources, right? Because I'm looking at the slogans themselves. And you realize now at this point, these could be posters, these could be pins, you know, the little buttons you put on your shirt. Uh, or your jacket, or they could be uh, patches, or they could be bumper stickers. Okay, so, but anywhere I go to look at actual slogans, um, and my research is slogans, if I'm looking at actual slogans, I'm looking at the primary source. But what if I go to Google again, and, uh, you know, I do Google books. I'm at Google books right here, and I, I type in slogans, and I get this book. It's about slogans, national slogans. Okay, now this looks like it's going to actually be just primary sources because it looks like they're actually giving me slogans. But uh, what what about this? Managing my slogan, um, slogans, issues and platforms, advertising promote. Okay, it talks about the nature of slogans and that sort of thing. You know, so a lot of this is actually second secondary sources because they're not slogans themselves, but they're about slogans. So these would be my secondary sources. Now. What if, uh, <clears throat> let's see, what if I were to actually want to examine uh, things like Blackboard? So I'm interested in education, okay? And I have a feeling that education is going to be more and more online, more and more sort of the Blackboard style. It's been huge in the past. It's going to get even bigger in the future, I believe. So I want to research the evolving nature of an online class. If I were to actually go to our Blackboard site over here, and look at the tools available and and the way things are set up and the color scheme and then you know there are other there are other platforms out there beside blackboard okay so if i were to go to those other ones too and look at what they're doing hey my topic is online education platforms called course management platforms like blackboard if i'm actually examining blackboard itself to try to learn about my topic you see i'm dealing with a primary source but if I decide to go and say, well, I'm going to go to the library, I'm going to type in course management platforms, I'm going to search for articles, I'm going to hit go, and, and then I end up with this, EBSCO, finds me 12 results 
Okay, this is research about Blackboard, about companies like them, about their product. This is a secondary source because my topic is these course platforms. If I go directly to the course platform to learn about it, I'm going into the primary source. If I go about into if I try to read research that's already been printed about my topic, then I'm really dealing with secondary sources. Okay? So that's the difference in a nutshell. And if you can get a grip on that, it's a great thing to do, all right? To be able to 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 there definite there's definitely a difference with a distinction here. And if you can learn to recognize those distinctions and how to reap benefit from both areas, it, it would it really service you well um, in, in your research itself.